Hey guys, it's me Will Patterson back with a new video and we are so close to a thousand subscribers Thank you so much for all of the people who are subscribed to this channel I hope that you're loving all the content that's been put out there um, I've got some exciting news as well that I'll tell you again is that I have my own network or I'm running a network called creative network so if you are a designer or um, a speed artist that means if you upload content onto YouTube regularly and you get 50 plus views a day then drop me an email down in the description uh, for the chance of being partnered and put into the YouTube partnership program to uh, have revenue on your video so you can earn money in that but anyway let's get to this so in this video we're going to be discussing this now I'm doing um, a mini series now of how I created uh, this and now this is a t-shirt and I'll take you to the finders panel here it's a t-shirt that I did for the for a client and this is the um, mock-up of it and this is what it's going to look like so if you didn't know I do t-shirts and stuff like that and someone uh, uh, from a charity called Ratanak asked me to do this so I've done it for them and uh, it looks great and I love it but I'm going to show you how I got this pattern down here as you can see that they're all certain shapes and stuff if I just unlock that layer they're all shapes in this layer and you can see that by when I just click on them and stuff like that so I'm going to take you through how I do this so the first thing you want to do is you want to get a new document up and I'm going to put some guides in so I'm going to press my line segment tool which is over here and I've got my smart guides on if you do not have your smart guides on Go ahead and press command U. Now, if you if the problem is, guys, is that if um, I'm using my big screen today, so sorry if it's a bit uh, bigger than usual, the screen size. So I'm going to get that sorted out because I've got this new I Mac OS operating system. So anyway, we're going to go use the smart guides. If you don't have it, press command U and you'll get this green line or whatever. And then we're just going to use the smart guide to go directly down uh, with the line segment tool. Or you can just uh, draw a path of the pen tool. Then I'm going to highlight this and then up in my alignment options and just going to align it like so. Then I'm going to make sure I've highlighted it with the selection tool. Press Command C or uh, Control C and then press Command F which will paste it in front. And then I'm going to press E to get my transform tools up. And I'm just going to hold Shift to bring it to a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to highlight them both and turn them into guides by pressing Command 5. And that will turn into guides. If you don't see them straight away, just press Command and Semicolon, which will bring up the guides um, and switch them on and off and stuff. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press Shift and B. Now this is the, and you'll see over here, this is called the Blob Brush Tool. Now you can draw with this, and this is about drawing vector art. So the Blob Brush Tool is a tool that's used uh, for cartoonists, people who want to draw it within Illustrator. And you can draw anything you want and draw a smiling face here. And it's really quick. Um, and it draws vector out and it creates it into a shape. So as you can see that I've just created this into a shape. Now anything that I've overlapped with, it'll connect to the shape automatically, like so. So I can create that. That looks rubbish. But what we're going to do today is we're going to um, create some line art. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a piece in the center. Now I'm going to get on my blob brush tool by pressing Shift and B, or going over here and pressing blob brush tool. Then I'm going to double click on the blob brush tool icon to get my uh, blob brush tool options open so here we have it so my options are this my size is five my variation is five as well I'm going to bring that down a bit to three and then it's pressure because I've got a graphics tablet so you will need a graphics tablet for this and then my roundness is at 100% now so the first part of this is I'm going to show you how to use the blob brush tool here and then we're going to go into the different aspects of uh, how I've done everything so the first part of it's brush blob brush tool so with this tool, I can just literally um, create a shape in the center. Now I'm going to bring my size down um, quite a bit to about three points, I'm guessing. Yeah, and then my options, sorry, I keep going back to the options. The variation, I want it to be two, so it's not too variated. Awesome, that's great. Now I'm going to zoom in, pressing Command Plus, and then I'm just going to create, I don't know what I created in the center here. Okay, I'll try and mimic that if I can, maybe. And you will do this a lot, and I'm using the graphics tablet. And as I add pressure, you'll see that the pressure of the Bob Bush tool um, increases. So you see that it gets thicker. Awesome, that looks good right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... So that's highlighted. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to uh, center, I think, at the moment. So that's centered into the artboard. I'm going to highlight it and press O. 
This is my reflection options. Now in the center of these guides here, I'm going to hold Alt and then click and I'll get the reflect options up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect vertically. Now remember, it's not horizontally reflected, it's reflecting off the vertical guides here. So you've got to keep that in mind in Illustrator. I'm going to press preview. I like it. So then I'm going to press copy and that will copy it over. And now we have our first sort of shape there. Now what we can do is we can just merge these together by pressing unite. And that's just one shape right there. That's a bit big for me. I don't like it that bit big. Awesome. Now I'm going to do other things inside this. Uh, only in one of these segments here. So I'm going to use this segment up here to do a few other things inside like so. I'm going to get my brush tools up and I'm going to put the variation back up to three so I can get a thin line and then a thick line. So the variation is the variation of thick to th thin to thick. So just like that, it's sort of working. I'm a bit rusty with this. Come on, what are you doing? It's probably because of the size of the outboard, but I'm going to leave it like that. Bring this in. Like so. And then just move that. Pressing command. I'm going to move this that way a couple of points. I'm going to go up here, then I'm going to just start a new, start a new swirl up here. It's a bit of a time progressive thing, so you'll see that you'll be creating a line and then coming off the line, but it gives this abstract sort of feel. So I'm just going to go up here and then bring it around. I think if I can yeah, I'll do that move it a bit it doesn't look too great but if I spend more time in it you'll see that the results are awesome when you spend more time in it then I'm going to bring the brush size down as you can see I've got my graphics tablet so I'm just going to bring it down automatically like so I'm going to get rid of these two I didn't like them let's bring that down put some other details in here Create the detail in here, all the detail you need to make it look fantastic. I'm going to put a circle in there just to make it look good, like so. Do my blob brush tool here. I'm just going to use this to create another swell. And then I'm going to just add some more crap to it here. just to give it the awesome impression. So you see it's like a very tremendously annoying thing to do sometimes, but you'll get the hang of it. So now what we're gonna do is um, we need to reflect these things that we created over here. So what you would normally do is that you would reflect the whole of the art here and you'll have a centerpiece obviously if you wanted to, but you would generally reflect the whole of the art thing here. Now, if you did the whole of your art here, just one piece, then you don't actually have to do these pieces here. You can just reflect them vertically and then reflect both of these horizontally, or you could sort of reflect them horizontally. Um, if this bit was like a complete shape, as in like it reflected on all sides, then you can reflect them all the way around. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna highlight these, uh, this sort of shape here. As you see, I'll just zoom in. So I've highlighted this shape here. I'm going to press command two, which will lock that so I don't select it. I'm going to go and select all these by using the marquee tool, press O, go and find the center of the artboard with the guides. And you'll see that I've got preview on, it's vertical, press copy, and that's copied it right to the other side. Then through this, I could press shift B to get my tool back up, my bob brush. I'm going to increase the brush size. And there we go, we can have that there. And then we can carry on. We could even use this side here if we wanted to, so we could have a bit of variation. So if I wanted to, I could just come up here. Give it this cool little swell if I wanted to. Let's bring the size down. So it's all about playing around. So if you if you don't know what I'm on about here, then it's okay, just go check out some of my other videos. Um, but Basically, this is just playing around with a line to, uh, with a tool that you use to draw in Illustrator. But it's got such awesome tools in here 
that you want to use them because they're just that you can just reflect things and create awesome patterns so this could actually be used as a pattern um, in a piece of clothing and it'll only take about an hour's work if you want to do it well now that's not the perfect one I know but then I, the same again I'll just highlight it press O alt click reflect it will reflect to the opposite side of where you were so then as you carry on you'll get some amazing pieces of work like this so I just reflected all of this onto that side so that's how it works so guys if you like this tutorial then give it a like I know it's a long one uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video make sure you subscribe and all that jazz goodbye